Hey guys, Anthony, 4 Before Diesel. We're just gonna do a review on a couple of awnings. Um, you know we like to do things in detail, so this isn't the shortest one, but it's gonna have all the information in there. So make sure you stay tuned till the end. Um, we've owned a few different awnings over the years, uh, and you know we get out and use them, and not only are we using them, we see a lot of other people with them in use, and of course, other people we know feedback from them as well. So all that cumulative information will be included in this review. I hope you find it informative and let's get started. We're going to be out bush for the rest of the video. This video is also going to include a warning and a caution to try and avoid this damage here. You can see where the, the, the other warning broke, hit there, dinted and scratched the vehicle. So uh, let's get on with it and show you how to avoid that and give you all the information we've got. Hey guys, Anthony, 4 Before Diesel. We just want to do a uh, quick uh, video a review on a couple of products here kind of awnings and what you need to spend on awnings and What the go is as far as coverage and that because you can spend a lot of money on awnings and you really got to consider what you need And what you don't so First thing we want to do. This is just a cheap Kings two and a half by two and a half awning I think they're they're 99 bucks or they're 119 with this LED strip light that's included it comes on the awning so it's about a bit over a meter long you can see it there how long it is probably half the length of the awning roughly you can slide it up and down comes with a switch a cigarette lighter accessory to power it up and a dimmer switch so it's pretty cool for 119 bucks i think uh, what i like about this awning is it's got that aluminium solid aluminium hinges so if you're setting it up and you let it go in the wind you know a little bit of wind we're talking if it's a gale force you might be in trouble but what happens these um these tracks they're just extruded aluminium so they'll flex and those hinges won't break. The poles might flex a little bit. Generally, it'll lift and come back to the ground, so not a big deal. Um, and we're gonna show you another awning a little bit later in the video that's got some, they're plastic, they're really weak and sacrificial, um, and it can result in some damage to the vehicle, as you can see on this one here. You might not be able to see too well. We just hit it really roughly with a touch-up paint to stop the rust, but it, yeah, quite gouges in the paintwork. Kind of dented it too, because it sort of hit it pretty hard. That wasn't one of these awnings though. So first thing we want to do is point out the size of the awning. So if my assistant can please hold that. So from that side there to here, 2.5, can we see that? Yep, so it is a two and a half meter awning. Let's measure it up the other way. Do you want to go over that side please, mate? Here we go, you got it at that end. And look, it's just short of two and a half. Here we get the light right so you can see that. I'll bend it around, something like that anyway. How's that, two and a half? So, a little bit short but close enough so it's two and a half by two and a half so that's obviously the coverage you get with these awnings two and a half by two and a half the good part about them is the the side you can get side walls from it just slips into this tubing here on the side okay we're not going to install that at the moment because we're trying to keep this short and sweet but they just slide in and then you can peg it to the ground they come down on an angle so you can fit your swags underneath it whatever and you can also they come with velcros and you can connect side walls onto the end on this end and the other end it's not as neat fit as the, the side over here but along these sides you can also put side walls and they're about 20 or 30 bucks each so i think pretty good value for money and i don't see a problem with design they pack up really well you just got to make sure you've got your two side poles which is this one here that's in the top track and this one's in the bottom track so that's cool some awnings have got a single track with both the poles and therefore depending how far the awning comes out, it might not fit, if you know what I mean. So you just gotta take that into account. As long as that track's a twin track up here, if you know what I mean, when you look at the design and the aluminium hinges. So let's go and have a look at another um, batwing type awning and compare the pros and cons. All right, so this vehicle has a Rhino batwing fitted and we just wanna have a look at a few of the comparisons. Looks like a quality product, okay. The one of the, I suppose, disadvantages is the coverage area. What I'd like to point out is the area you lose compared to a compared to a two and a half meter awning. So I'm just standing approximately two and a half meters off the awning at the moment at the front corner there. And you've lost, I'm estimating about half a meter coverage coming out or so. Um, the distance between this point here and the vehicle, about two meters only. And because of the angle, this, I'm gonna trip over some ropes here, but because of the angle it comes out on, you've lost 
almost that, that this point here where this rope is is halfway along your awning so this part in front here you've just lost all that coverage is the first part part so draw a line from the front of the awning to halfway along and two meters out and that's the coverage you've got so you've only got two meters out so you've lost 20 percent off the outside plus this whole corner cut off here which is like another 25 percent of the area of the awning so it's quite a bit of coverage lost now we've got to look at what we're going to gain here for last time i checked the retail was 887 dollars worth it's a lot more money you've invested so far you've got less area i would like to point out with the standard awning you're only carrying around about uh probably i think it's eight or nine kilos of standard awning up there these if i remember correctly 27 kilos and quite a bit more wind resistance and weight up there so let's have a measurement we've got an assistant there with a tape measure let's have a look and make sure we got it right she can hold that up the uh up the end there that's it and let's have a look at the tape measure we'll bring it out to two and a half meters where are we try and get the focus happening in here for a minute okay where are we 2.4 so there's two and a half you can see i don't know if this is going to work out but you probably can't see let's take look where a good meter drawing a line from the vehicle right a meter and a half away to that next pile so there's a massive big triangle missing i think you can buy that as an extra it might be an extra couple hundred dollars to add that back on again and of course it only comes out to here you've still lost your extra half a meter on the outside of the awning let's take a measurement from the rear hinge here okay up the top there okay so under here we've got we can focus 1800 look to that you can see the seam there it's 1900 so it's only 1 1.9 it's not even two meters right to the outside of that awning that's where the seam is right this part here that's the flap that hangs down right all right and you can see what's going on all right that's the seam bada boom bada bing all right 1.9 is all it is so you've lost all this area so all you've got here from that coverage a very small area so just be aware of what you're losing when you upgrade or downgrade to one of these types of awnings really look at your your measurements and sizing now so we've probably barely got enough to fit a like a big double swag there and be inside the awning and then just to get a bit of coverage at the uh, at the back door here which is what we wanted and we've got the we've got it mounted as far forward as we can so that there's some flaps that tuck in and they sort of jam in behind there so it's really difficult to go any further forward we shouldn't have to it's forward of the rear of the vehicle that's for sure okay you can see the track there all right now if we go around the other side if we go around this side also I'd like to point out i'm not sure if these are meant to be 270 degrees but we're struggling to get that coverage over the door at the moment if we had a bit of rain you can see it's going to sort of it's not quite right and having it tied as tight as it is at the moment it's flexing and bending this rear bar quite a bit might be hard for you to see i'll try and get it up there you know what i mean we can push it a bit more but they're quite flexy these bars not really that strong at all so i'm a bit concerned about pulling this tighter to get the coverage anyway just showing you what it is lots of awesome ropes and you can peg the legs down they're pretty quick to set up that's the good part about it um i suppose and the other big disadvantage is and we'll have to do another little section of video but these these sacrificial hinges they're just plastic they've actually got a little they're not even solid the part that goes into the pole they've got a little split in the middle and the material is quite porous and weak and people report that these are not even strong enough to hold their own weight while you're setting them up people have experienced them breaking and we experienced just the lightest breath of wind got under it lifted up and just went straight over and that's what caused the damage on this part of the vehicle on the other vehicle when it was fitted to there so that's the deal we wouldn't um go the rhino batwing again i think it's pretty well overpriced for the coverage you do and don't get just wanted to show you that information so you can hopefully make the right decision if you're going to grab one yourself one last little part we're going to add on the end of the video is showing you what these look like when they're broken because you need to really see the material what it's like to understand how weak they really are um, so we'll go ahead and get those and do that okay so i'm not too sure what your experience is i know there's a few other people out there probably quite a few if we know of a few there's probably quite a lot that have experienced these breakages 
Um, this bat wing, when we purchased it, um, did come with two spares, luckily, so it's um, obviously a fairly common issue. Um, and if, I think it was the first time, first time we officially used it is when it broke and we found out about that. Um, so just looking at them, if you have a look, not a super amount of strength there because you've got that hollow cut out in the middle, which I'm not sure what that's about. That's obviously going to be weaker. I mean, I understand sometimes to have a sacrificial point to something, but um, I think this is way too sacrificial. I think way too weak. They should be able to definitely hold their own weight and take a little bit of a breeze. That plastic being solid would obviously be stronger, I think. I could be wrong. Um, anyway, that's what they look like. And this is what they look like when they're broken. We'll try and get in a bit closer for you so you can uh, and get the light around some different ways. Just really porous material if you see that. Hopefully you can see some detail. I'll move the light around a little bit. It just looks to me like there's absolutely no strength in it whatsoever. Alright. So be very cautious. If you've got one, just be really careful. Um, obviously it's an inconvenience when they do break off like this, but the biggest part is damage to the vehicle. And if you've got a fairly new vehicle, and that's scratched like on the other vehicle, um, yeah, not too exciting. So, look guys, we're just providing information. Um, you know, you can go and buy a cheap awning for 100, 150 bucks, or you can spend a lot of money on awnings. You can spend hundreds, many hundreds and thousands. Just think about it before you do. How often are you going to get to use it? Think about the weight you're carrying up there. Just be equipped. This is just some information, so hopefully you can make the right decision. Um, I'm not saying whether you should or shouldn't buy it. I'll say I wouldn't buy it. The, certainly the Rhino Batwing again. And look, if it's bigger and stronger, it's probably going to be too heavy, adding a lot more weight. Uh, personally, if I had my time again, I'll stick with the standard awnings. As I said, they're under 10 kilos. They've been very reliable. We've owned cheap versions of those for many years and um, to get the coverage over the back of the vehicle you can also have another awning or even what I think is better again is a small gazebo uh, yeah, there's an $89 one at uh, Repco every now and then it's a two and a half by two and a half at the roof three meters at the legs really sturdy strong frame you're able to leave it set up and drive away from it if you're staying at camp it literally doesn't take long to set up and it's been tested out in the wind so the combination of the two for about 200 bucks and you've got some really good coverage, one for your swag, and of course you've got the options with the sidewalls as well. Right guys, you've seen it, that's what it is. Hopefully that helps you uh, make a more informed decision of what products you want to use or not. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna have some more awesome diesel information coming your way in the next week, and um, yeah, some more product reviews coming too. Thanks for watching, see ya.